a flying Frenchman who crossed the channel on a jet-powered hoverboard is now looking for 25 brave volunteers to test a new craft. Frankie Zapata, 43. Originally announced plans to create a flying car that could travel on roads as well as in the air. However, the jet racer is actually more like a sophisticated version of his hoverboard, with the distinct advantage that the pilot has a seat. Carbon fiber and titanium controlled by two joysticks cost to make, not revealed available to public, no set date, not likely to be any time soon. Or to get emergency doctors to the scenes of road accidents. It's just as people imagine. You sit in it and you fly, Zapata, dubbed the real Iron Man, told the Times. It's like Aladdin's magic carpet. He claimed that the aircraft has a top speed of 155 miles per hour, 250 kilometers per hour, but said he had not yet accelerated beyond 80 miles per hour, 130 kilometers per hour. The problem is me. For the moment, the craft will be used for stunts and entertainment to begin with, although Zapata is keen for them to one day be useful during mountain rescues. But it is unlikely to be any time soon. Top speed 155 miles per hour, 250 kilometers per hour, max altitude 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters, capacity one pilot takeoff, vertical engines, 10 kerosene powered micro turbojet engines made of. It is made of carbon fiber and titanium and controlled with two joysticks, Zapata said. No details have been revealed about what it costs to make or when it might be available to the public. There are no wheels but the craft is able to take off and land vertically using 10 kerosene-powered micro-turbojet engines, which allow it to reach an altitude of almost 10,000 feet, 3,000 meters. I'm a little bit afraid to go any faster, Zapata added. A total of 100 volunteers will be picked to take part in initial trials, including on a simulator, before the final 25 are sent to the U.S. That is because they would not be required to hold an ultralight aviation license there, unlike in France. Anyone interested has been asked to get in touch with Zapata via his website. In 2019. The inventor became the first person in history to cross the English Channel on a kerosene-powered board not much bigger than a tea tray. Zapata set off towards the White Cliffs of Dover from Sangat Beach, in Calais, in front of a cheering crowd.